G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of The Tech Effect. I'm Pete, Tech Man Conan, and this is Mark, the Bearded Tech Scan. G'day everybody, how you going Pete? I'm great, yourself Mark? Yeah, going great, going great. So today, you do a lot of work, I want to talk about uh, education in particular. Um, Passion. Primary schools, you know, you do a lot of work in that space. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of work more in the tertiary, university, uh, higher ed space. What, what are we seeing from a technology point of view? What are we seeing, uh, that what technology is being implemented into, into the schools that you've been working on? And what do you think, where's the future of that technology moving forward, like in, over the next couple of years? Where are we headed with, with yeah. all that? Yeah, well, well, I could talk for hours on this. Really yeah. good. <laughs> um, I, I think the, the, the biggest thing I'm seeing now is and whether this is a push from us, I don't think it is. I think it's a it's a it's a, a, a drop in price. But we're seeing a shift from projection to panels right. uh, a lot in our space. Why, why is that? Uh, I think it's because of the drop in price number one. Yeah. Uh, the panels are coming more yep. affordable. Yes. Uh, they're getting lighter. Yeah. Uh, but they're they're less finicky. You know, they're yep. they're quick. They're easier installs. Yep. They're much more reliable. Typically. Yep. Brighter. Um, brighter. Yep. High res. Yes. You know, yeah, all that, all that sure. cool stuff. Um, so that's that's what we're sort of seeing in the video side. Uh, but uh, uh, in the past, schools have, or any any kind of space really has chosen projection because of the size. So they're after a particular size screen. Size, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, are we? Are you saying that we're seeing panels large enough now to replace projection? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so if you think about um, any of the ultra short throw range. Yes. Typically, how they install in the reality. It's not yeah. how much we'd like to do it, but in yeah. the reality, they're, they're going into a classroom, they're going straight up above a whiteboard. Yes. Right? And a whiteboard's 1,200 high. And they're projecting onto the whiteboard? And they're projecting onto right. the whiteboard, okay. right? Yeah. Now, there's, there's two ways to install that. You can, yeah. you can if you bring in finger touch yes. interactivity, yeah. you can put that finger touch unit above the whiteboard yes. and pack it out. Yeah. Or you can put it on the whiteboard. Now, if you put it on the whiteboard, mm. your screen size actually becomes down to somewhere around 80 inches. Right. Okay. But if you look at uh, putting the interactive um, the sensor unit yes. above the whiteboard, yes. yeah, you can pull it out to about 86, right. maybe 89. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're seeing uh, flat panels now. Interactive flat panels yeah. come in at 86 yeah, quite comfortably right. and yeah. at a reasonably feasible price. Yes. Right? Yeah. And so schools that have got Lower budget may not have a rollover plan. Yeah, um, will will go to a panel yes. because their rollover plan is when it dies. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, where yeah, um, <laughs> you know, and that could be seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Years, so they're just seeing things bang for bang. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we sort of see in, in is certainly a cost to audio. Yeah. Th in my opinion, there's not enough emphasis on audio. Right. right? Why is that? Oh, look, I, I just think um, it's the big, bright, shiny object for a panel on yeah. the wall, right? But um, you know, if you, well, you know yourself. You put a, you go and get your domestic panel, yes. right? And it's yeah. got a speaker in the back or yeah, down yeah, yeah, speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you turn, you got this thing at say twenty five, yeah. and you can't hear it very well. So you turn it up at sixty five, yeah, yeah. and you still can't hear it very yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and that's really what's happening, uh, in my opinion, in, in panels in classrooms. Yeah. And you add noise, yes. ruffling papers, yeah. kids, all that sort of stuff, external noise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got some going on right now. We've got yeah, some cups yeah, playing in right. the background. Yep. You, you add that noise, yeah, yeah. and your comprehension yeah. is just of your kids. It's going yes. down. Yeah. So, so you're adding external speakers. Adding external speakers. Yeah. Um, my preference is if I can add them, I'm going to add them in the ceiling right. Right, and get okay. coverage yes. throughout, yep. uh, even coverage throughout the, yep. the classroom. Sometimes you might add a sound bar or something like that. Sure. Some commercial sound bars. Yeah. Like JBL, for yep. instance, have got a commercial sound bar. It's a, it's a nice simple sure. samba. Yeah. Uh, and then we're also seeing um, a li uh, more and more starting to and, and I think it's gonna it's gonna grow, it's gonna have to grow. Yeah. Is the uh, is the voice lift right. you know for teachers to have a little teacher mic. Um, so how, how as far as student numbers, how, how big are these rooms that you're talking about? How many students? Oh we're talking roughly uh, 25? 25. So standard classroom sure. size. Okay. Yeah. So you're seeing now that there, because like when I went to school, there was no, there was no voice lift, there was no AV, there was nothing. Obviously, right. yeah, uh, yeah. it wasn't invented then. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's how long ago I went to school. Yeah. Uh, if I actually turned yeah, up, I mean, yeah. back then, 
What was that before then? <laughs> Overhead projector. No, we yeah, had what yeah. you, the, 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 the blue little film things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah had all yeah. that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, that was after me. Right. No. <laughs> no, before sure, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Feeling old right now. Yeah. <laughs> voice lift. Right? Yes. So you're saying voice lift. So wh why do they? What's behind the them wanting voice. to have the voice lift? Yeah. Okay, so it's not, it's not a big room, right? No, no, it's, it's but it's two things. Mm. We're seeing um, ongoing claims no. by teachers and workplace health, um, what do you call it? Workplace health and safety. Health and safety. Yeah, yep. um, you know, voice boxes buggered or whatever they, you know, oh, yeah, really? you know, voice okay. tiredness and yeah. all that sort of stuff. And then teachers just not making the week out and they're uh -huh. um, taking days off because. They're, okay. They're, they're working really hard to try yeah. and yell yeah, yeah, yeah. all that. Yeah. And that was all okay when you had a, you know, like I had a teacher who was, was about six foot four and he was about, you know, probably 140 kilos. Yeah, yeah, and he looked yeah. at me and he goes, get in, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. get over here, you know. Yeah, and yeah. he was like, he just scared the daylights yeah, out. Yeah. But there's, there's teachers that are, you know, five foot, um, and especially females. Yep. yep. Uh, and their voice just is just not carrying. Yeah, and yeah. so they just need that kick. Okay. Yep. Uh, and, we're also, and, and the reason we're also seeing it is, um, comprehension. There's a lot more data around right. comprehension. Yes. So if you look at a classroom to be sort of hitting a noise floor of maybe 55, right. 60 dB yep. with nobody in it. Right. All right. So you put an air conditioner on yeah. um, and it's just sitting there at yeah. maybe 55, 60 dB. Yeah. Now you add 25 kids yeah. uh, and then rustling papers yeah, and the lifts. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, so yeah. You're, you're coming up to 65 yeah. dB. Not yeah. a problem at all. Yep. And then and there's a lot of data around, and uh, Phonak particularly has got a lot mm. of data around the comprehension uh, within a space mm -hmm. um, at you know at 65 to 70 dB. Yeah. Seeing seeing without voice lift, yes. you're seeing you know um, at say at 70 dB, I think you're seeing nearly 50 to 60 percent drop off yeah. right. in comprehension for okay. kids. Yep. So um, that's it's, it's a bit like when I'm on the train and the and the, the announcer on the train goes. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm just going, yeah. I don't know what you're saying, right? Yeah, no, you've got no clue. <laughs> no, yeah. The comprehension is all gone. Yeah. I lost interest. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're seeing. So it's almost yeah. like it's almost, if you flip that around and you, you add the teacher mic, yeah. you're going, we can make kids 60% smarter. Right. Potentially, okay. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. from what we were. Sure. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe that's why kids are. not be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what's happening, right? Yeah. yeah. In today's world. Yeah. So, so look. From that perspective, you know, video, audio, I'm not seeing a lot of, look, and we talk about flexible learning spaces, right? Yes. And you, you, your experience in yeah. universities, you're yeah. going to see a lot of... See a lot of that. Yeah. 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 We want and a flexible yeah. learning space. Yeah. How much money have you got? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. How, how, yeah, yeah. And, and, oh, I want to be able to plug that in over there. Yeah, yeah, and show it over here. That one there and yeah, that yeah, one there. Yeah. And I'll move that and, you know, flick that to there and flick that. Oh, yeah. that, that'll be great. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of... A lot of high-end K to 12 schools that want to do that, yeah. probably with unrealistic budget yeah, expectations. Yeah, yeah. True. And th but there's a reality of primary school or even high schools they just don't have that budget. Yes. Yeah. And and certainly if you get out of the cities, yeah, yeah. Um, out in the country, they just want some tech that works. Yeah. You know, some of these some of these stuff is. Yeah. Um, do, do you remember the, the age of? Uh, short throw projectors, yeah, not yeah. ultra short. Yeah, yeah, short throw. So you yeah, have yeah. these things 1,200 yeah, off the yeah, wall. Yeah. And, uh, and they just, like, they've still got some of that. Yes. You know, yeah. And they're dull and you can barely see them. I'm sitting there yeah. going, are you still operating yeah. on that thing? That's the, the, the flexible learning thing, great. Trolleys, yeah. you've got to get past the issue of OHS. Right. Yeah. Um, kids tripping over and yeah. things like that. But I think as panels get lighter, yes. it'll give a lot more flexibility as yeah. to what we can do. Sure. Yeah, so. so that's where we are today. That's what we're seeing today. That's what we're seeing today. What, where, where is yeah. it going? Like, where do you think the technology is going to head over the next couple of years? Oh, look, I think we're heavily, and I, I, to some of this, I can probably throw that back to you because um, K twelve, by and large, follows what unis are doing with, yeah. with a, a lag. Yes, yeah. well, and, and they certainly want to. That's where they look, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. to to get ideas and inspiration. So. Um, so my question, that if, I, if I ask that to you, yeah. what are you seeing now? Because that might be a, a, a sign of what we're going to see in K-12. Yeah. So. Yeah.